Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Snap. In today's video, we shall be looking at the members of Die Hard, then and where they are now. Let's get started. Bruce Willis Bruce Willis was 33 years old then and is now 66 years old. He signed a contract in 2009 to become the international face of Belvedere S.A.'s Sobieski Vodka in exchange for 3.3% ownership in the company. Alan Rickman Alan Rickman was 42 years old then and died in 2016, age 69. He was an honorary president of the International Performers Aid Trust, a charity that works to fight poverty among performing artists. Samuel L. Jackson Samuel L. Jackson was 40 years old then and is now 73 years old. He is one of the most widely recognized actors of his generation, and the films in which he has appeared have collectively grossed over $27 billion. Paul Gleason Paul Gleason was only 49 years old in 1988 and died in 2006 from lung cancer when he was 67 years old. He made a guest appearance on Friends as Jack, Phoebe's boss at an investment company. Bonnie Bedelia Bonnie Bedelia was 40 years old then and is now 73 years old. She has earned two Emmy Award nominations in her television work. Reginald Bell Johnson Reginald Bell Johnson was 36 years old then and is now age 69. He was the subject of an internet hoax in 2017 when a website reported that he had died of a heart attack. Alexander Godunov Alexander Godunov was 39 years old in 1988 and died in 1995 at age 45. He became well known in the Soviet Union as a movie actor, receiving the title of Honored Artist of the RSFSR in 1976. William Atherton William Atherton was 41 years old then and is now 74. He is an avid promoter of education and has worked with the Library Foundation of Los Angeles in readings benefiting the Los Angeles Public Library. Tracy Renner Tracy Renner was only 24 years old in 1988 and is now 57. She headed a team to fund the market medical software in 2013. Hart Bachner Hart Bachner was 32 years old then and is now 65 years old. He is a board member of the Environmental Media Award. DeVro White DeVro White was only 23 years old in 1988 and is now age 56. He worked in the clinical staff of Substance Abuse Rehabilitation Facility in 2019. He also set up his own company in California. Robert Davey Robert Davey was 37 years old then and is now 70 years old. He has performed in over 130 films over the course of his acting career. He endorsed Donald Trump in 2016 and 2020 U.S. presidential election. Larry Brigman Larry Brigman was 50 years old then and is now aged 83. He has been nominated twice for the Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Play in 1994 for Picnic and in 2001 for Proof. Clarence Gilliard Clarence Gilliard was 33 years old in 1988 and is now 66 years old. He is an associate professor in the College of Fine Arts Department of Theater at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Taylor Fry Taylor Fry was only 7 years old then and is now 40 years old. She graduated from the University of California, Santa Barbara in 2003, where she became an avid Ultimate Frisbee player. Dennis Hayden Dennis Hayden was 36 years old in 1988 and is now 69. He is the white coach in the new Von Miller Old Spice commercials 2017. James Shigita James Shigita was 59 years old then and died at age 85 in 2014. He won the Golden Globe Award for Most Promising Newcomer, Male, in 1960. George Christie George Christie was 61 years old then and died from heart failure at 93 years old. He wrote for the Society column, The Great Life, for The Hollywood Reporter for 26 years. Betty Cavarlo Betty Cavarlo was 56 years old in 1988 and is now 89. She is best known for her role in Three Amigos in 1986. Mary Ellen Trainer. Mary Ellen Trainer was 36 years old then and died from pancreatic cancer when she was 62 years old in 2015. She studied broadcast journalism at San Diego State University. Wilhelm von Homburg. Wilhelm von Homburg was 48 years old then and died in 2004 at 63 years old. He spent the last years of his life effectively homeless, 
alternating between sleeping at YMCA and in friends' homes or in his van. Rick DeComan Rick DeComan was 36 years old in 1988 and died from diabetes in 2015 at age 62. He was a Canadian stand-up comedian, actor, writer, and producer. Al Leong Al Leong was 36 years old then and is now 69 years old. He has brain cancer in 1993 and suffered a stroke in 2005. Grand L. Bush Grand L. Bush was 33 years old then and is now 66. He won a nomination for a Canadian Genie Award in the category of Best Performance by a Foreign Actor for his role in the film Hard Feelings. Andreas Winooski Andreas Winooski was 29 years old in 1988 and is now 62 years old. He turned to directing in 2001, making the short film Inspiration. Anthony Peck Anthony Peck was 41 years old then and died of cancer in 1996 when he was 49 years old. He earned his Bachelor of Arts at the University of Toledo. Carmine Zozora Carmine Zozora was only 29 years old then and is now age 62. He is an Italian-American actor and producer. He produces the film Color of the Night, where he met his wife, Jane March. Hans Boringer Hans Boringer was 30 years old in 1988 and is now 63 years old. He is both a director and actor, best known for his role in Die Hard and Contract Online. Nick Wyman Nick Wyman was 38 years old back in 1988 and is now 71 years old. He is a former president of the Actors' Equity Association. Thanks for watching.